I love Mr. Spock. I thought Captain Kirk was kind of cute. You have a family on board this ship. Core Japan Air, Choyage Be, Klingon Hall, Vijak Mo, Ach Vijak Tah. I think the thing that appeals to fans most about Klingons is the inherent warrior nature of the species. Most people like Klingons uh, just because they're kind of the hell's angels of the galaxy. You know? They're loyal and, and aggressive and they like to fight, you know, and, uh, but in kind of a, a benign way. These people that, that play Klingons at these types of things are among the kindest people and the gentlest people I know. Without the costumes, you know, I've gotten to know some of them, they've gotten to know me, we've exchanged our stories, and there is a real sense of like a family reunion when you get together with them. We do library visits, hospital visits, um, making ourselves known. Um, we do a lot of with, um, reading, National Reading Month, to encourage reading, the importance of reading. You can't go into space if you cannot read. They represent is honor and dignity and loyalty and family and all really very positive qualities taken to the hilt. Plus then, you know, you get to wear all the leather and, and the prosthetics. For many Americans, this TV family was something they watched with their real family. I grew up watching Star Trek, the classic series. We used to play Star Trek in the backyard and my sister was Spock and I was Captain Kirk, always Captain Kirk. It came on reruns every night at 11. The whole family can sit and watch together from the smallest child to the oldest grandparent and there aren't very many shows that can bring a family together like that. When I got cast, the first thing I did when I walked onto set and I was all done up and walked into deep space and you know, I was like, oh my gosh, and I went to the phone and called my mom and dad, because I said, I want Star Trek. <laughs> it's no... I hope there's always going to be a Star Trek. I really do. You know, after Voyager, everybody's going, oh, it's got to be the end of it. It's just got to be the end of it. And here it is. They've come up with a whole new concept, which sounds really intriguing. So <laughs> it goes on and on. Will there always be a Star Trek? God, yes. God, yes. We love Star Trek! I see as many children at Star Trek conventions nowadays as I do adults. You know, and the kids are in the crazy spacesuits just like their, their parents are, and they love it, and it's a lot of fun for them.